back, science fiction has filled our imagination with flying cars for decades, and now we might finally be seeing them. Taroni Aerospace, a South Florida-based company, is working to revolutionize how we get around. The CEO of the company is here, Dorn Merringer, joins us now. And first of all, thank you for being here. Thank you for inviting me. I understand that this is a project that started in a garage. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we started about almost seven years ago at, at our home. Uh, we started as a garage project. Um, then it went to the living room, uh, <laughs> and the, the, the Persian rug, uh, and uh, we started bringing friends and engineers and start building it up. Uh, even the kids were sitting on it to try to balance the frame. Um, exciting. And then we lifted off the ground in uh, 2018, a 643-pound vehicle. That's the first one we did. We started changing the design, and now we have the H1. All right. I imagine the Federal Aviation Administration kind of interested in what you got going on here. How is this all being regulated, and are we close to actually seeing this in reality? Yeah. So uh, the FAA issued last week a new uh, guidance. The, these are the rules probably will in effect uh, by 2000. Uh, sorry, by 2024. And the idea is that it will help us or basically guide us how to build it. And that, that should be in effect by the end of it. So you can start selling already and, and see the thing in the sky. Uh, what we're targeting is called LSA, Light Sport Aircraft Type Certification, uh, which is um, it's an easier form of certification uh, mm -hmm. for us. And uh, what we do is pretty simple as far as controlling it. Any kid can fly it. Uh, wow. Any kid could fly. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a drone. Think of like a drone. Every, every very simple, straightforward. If you don't know what to do, just you know, take your hands off the the, the joystick and it will maintain its location. Very uh, intuitive. Okay, uh, let's talk practically speaking. Like, who would have these flying? Who would? We know that the traffic is terrible in mm -hmm. South Florida. In fact, Lauren had some traffic <laughs> issues today. She could have used one of these cars. <laughs> but practically speaking, who would have them? How many of them do you predict will be out there? So uh, at the beginning, our, our roadmap is about six, uh, six, the first year, six units uh, for uh, 2025. And then we scale up to about production of seven units a day, even more. Um, who will buy them? Basically, every person uh, can afford such a vehicle, obviously, and has to be over 18. Uh, What's the price tag? Uh, <laughs> started 300 to 375. Um, it's it's uh, it's a two seater and basically we'll park in its two car garage, charge at home. It's all electric, very easy to control. As I said before, just you know go taxi backwards and you just go up. It's right. just different. Obviously, we need some some test flights to make sure that these things work correctly. So can we just go out near where you have this all set up and see you take to the sky, or is this still really in its early stages? Uh, as you far can as come over to our facility. We're a test pilot inside the facility. Oh, it's inside. Yes. Okay. I know you're fly, you yourself fly them inside yeah, a yeah. warehouse. Yeah, inside a warehouse, which is even harder than to do yeah. outside because of all the wind turbulences coming from the floor, from the ceiling, but it's still able to control. It's very, very uh, stable. It feels like sitting on clouds. It's like you have mm -hmm. to imagine you're throwing four, uh, eight fans into the ground, and it's not like a helicopter trying to balance itself, the all right. electric. Pretty, it feel, they feel safe for me. Yeah, and I know you're not the only company out there that's doing this. There are many. That are, what prediction do you have? What city in the United States do you think will be the first city to have these flying cars? So um, I'm thinking about you know where we are now, Pompano Beach. Uh, we are, to our understanding, we're the first in the U.S. who have a manned flight inside the facility. Mm. So uh, the roadmap for us is, I said, 2024, middle of 2024, to to have the the go-to-market product ready and be help sort of certify it. A couple of months later this is really the target that we're looking for uh, we, d we think it's achievable we do believe and so far we're able to be on the time and uh, it's going to be an amazing world out there this what's the range uh, from Pompano Beach how far can so I go so, on one so, charge so, so, so the target now is 60 mile bear in mind it's nautical miles so it's equivalent to about 100 if you drive a car because you don't have to stop you don't have to u-turn you just straight you go up okay. yeah. you go direct and down very simple you go from uh, right. Pompano Beach to Miami no problem yeah right yeah. Pretty cool. So not a driver's license, not a pilot license, but you're going to have to get some sort of certification. How do people start yeah. getting working on this? Because I'm sure they think it's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a pilot license for LSA, but it's 20 hours of, the way we know today, as of today, it's a 20-hour course. Okay. That's what we know today. Uh, we have to stay tuned with FAA, but it looks very promising. Doran Merdinger, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank appreciate you. the time. Looking at guys. the future here. <laughs> thank you. Thinking of the Jetsons. <laughs>